Members, Mr. Colin McGrath has sought leave to present a public petition in accordance with Standing Order 22. The member will have up to, up to three minutes to speak. I call Mr. Colin McGrath. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I'm presenting to you today a petition about an issue that may seem strange, given that I'm a 40-year-old man. But I want to petition this assembly about the plight of the Waspie women, or to give them their fuller title, the Women Against State Pension Inequality. For me, Mr. Speaker, the most important element of this is the term inequality, and that is why I am raising this issue. To provide background, the British government in 1995 and 2011 passed pension acts which moved on both occasions the retirement age for women to move it in line with men. On the face of it, that seemed fair and equitable, but it masks the number of women affected and the impact it would have upon them. Because of the introductions of these acts and the fact that it wasn't done in a more gradual, incremental and timely way, some women who are born just three years apart have to retire six years apart, whilst the woman who is born five years earlier only has to work an extra nine months. To add insult to this injury, Mr. Speaker, while some of the women that are born just a few months apart are required to work many years more, they are impacted doubly, once as they are required to work extra years compared to their peers, and again because during their additional working period they are required to pay national insurance. Deprived of pensions on one hand, forced to contribute on the other, the majority of those impacted are now in their 60s, and it does seem to me, Mr. Speaker, a cruel policy that merely attacks older women. In terms of notice, Mr. Speaker, you might say, well, as long as they know and prepare, what is the big deal? And I would agree with you. But us men were asked to work an extra year to the age of 66, and we were given six years' notice before the policy was implemented. Some WASPI women were given, in some cases, just one year's notice. That means men were given six years' notice for one year addition, whilst women were given one year's notice for a six-year extension. It hardly seems equal. It must be remembered too, Mr. Speaker, that some women were often not permitted to enter company pension schemes and other benefits uh, of employment until the 1990s, and such changes to their plans and pensions are having a major detrimental impact. Some women who have not been working in later years and were expecting an income from the state pension are now, at the age 60, 61 and 62, having to turn to Job Seekers Alliance and zero-hour contracts to make ends meet. Just think, Mr Speaker, how many of us knew our grandmothers when they were that age. Would we like them to have to have a zero-hour contract just in order to survive? To conclude, Mr Speaker, I will submit this petition and ask that this support House support the Opposition Day motion later this afternoon, tabled by our Ulster Unionist friends, and send a clear message that if the clearing of the national debt mantra of we are all in this together means anything, then let's do what we can to help the inequality and severely impacting changes that impact the women against state pension inequality. Yeah. The member to bring his petition forward. Minister for Communities and to the Committee of Communities.